Good evening, everyone. This is uh, May 2020, Unit 2 of IEL Physics. Uh, this exam was conducted in October 2020. In this session, I'll discuss uh, MCQs, and the next session, I'll discuss the structure questions. Waves can be represented on graph of displacement and distance against distance and displacement against time. Which of the following properties can only be determined by the combina com combining information from both graphs? So if we, we have a distance and displacement graph, so what we can work out, we can work out the wavelength. And if we have displacement and time graph using a time axis, we can work out the reciprocal of time will be frequency. And we have the formula V is equals to F lambda. So combining the two graphs, we can find the speed. That's why C is the right answer. Two waves from same source arrive at a point with a part difference of three lambda by eight, where lambda is a wavelength. Which of the following is a phase difference? So the relation between uh, part difference and phase difference, when there's a complete part difference, one wavelength, the phase difference is 360 degrees or two pi radian. But if we have three lambda by eight, then this will be X. So X will be equal to 360 multiply by 3 lambda divided by 8. So when we simplify this, it will come out as 135 degrees. Because the relation between the part difference and the phase difference, that if the part difference is lambda, the phase difference in terms of degree, it will be 360. In terms of radian, it will be 2 pi radian. So we can work out using this part difference, we can work out the phase difference, which is 135 degrees in this case. A diffraction grating has 300 lines per minute, per millimeter, sorry. It's millimeter by mistake, I said a minute. So it is having 300 lines per millimeter, means one millimeter, 300 line. So D is a gap between the two lines, between the two slits. So how to find D? D is reciprocal. So it will be one divided by 300. That will give us D. And which of the following calculation should be used to determine the wavelength in millimeter of a laser light? So how we can determine the wavelength? So we have the formula D sine theta is equals to N lambda, where N is the order of the image. So they mentioned it is a first order maxima. So value of n is equals to one. So we can say d sine theta is equals to lambda. So what about d? How we'll get d? d is one by 300. So it will be sine theta divided by 300 is equals to lambda. And how to get this theta? Theta, what angle it is making? So this angle is a theta. This one is a base for us and perpendicular so tangent theta is equals to perpendicular divided by base so theta tangent theta the perpendicular it's 0.4 and the base is 2 or theta is equals to 10 inverse 0.4 divided by 2 so theta will get in this by, by this way and then sine theta divided by 30 will get the wavelength so d is a right answer which con uh, which of the following statements about the physical quantities or its unit is correct current is a derived quantity that's totally wrong it's a fundamental quantity power is a derived quantity that's true coulomb is a base unit no it's not the base unit is a drive unit volt is a base unit no it's also a drive unit so option b is a right statement Ultrasound has number of ultrasound has number of different uses in medicine. Which of the following is the main reason why ultrasound is not used to perform a scan in the chest and lungs? So chest and lungs because it contain most of it contain air, and this air will vibrate at a higher speed due to higher frequency due to ultrasound waves, and it is reflected by air particle like it will bounce back from the particle as well. 
So air in the lungs cause most of the ultrasound to reflect back. It's not able to pass through. Duration of a pulse of ultrasound emit uh, limits the amount of detail. That's not the reason. Ult the wavelength of ultrasound is too long. It's high frequency, shorter wavelength. Ultrasound can damage. It does not damage. The only thing, the air in the uh, lungs or the chest cause the, for the ultrasound to reflect back. Most of it will reflect back instead of passing through. Which electrical component has a current and potential graph as shown? So here the slope represents 1 over R because current is on Y axis, voltage on X axis and slope is increasing. It means the resistance is decreasing. So for diode, if it was a diode, then what should be the shape of the graph? There should be a voltage at which the diode start to conduct. So it should be certain voltage start to conduct so it cannot be diode if it was a filament when we when the current is passing it there is more collagen between the electrons and the lattice of a positive ion which increases the temperature as the temperature increase the resistance increase the slope should decrease so the slope is increasing so it's not a filament if it's a fixed resistor it should be a straight line so it is a thermistor so d is a right answer A small metal cube with sides length, uh, which side of length X are connected. So it's a metal cube which is having a side X. The current through the cube is I and the potential is V is applied. Resistivity, so we have the formula R is equals to rho L divided by A. So R A divided by L is equals to rho. Because it's a cube, so the area of the phase that's x and x, so it will be x square and the length is also x. So I can say r x square by x, so this will cancel. So resistivity is equals to r into x. And what about r? We have the formula v is equals to i r. So r is equals to v divided by i will give us r. So in place of r, I'll substitute v divided by i. So v divided by i and then into x. So v into x divided by i, that's why a is a right answer. Which of the following statements about wave is correct? Both longitudinal and transverse, no, both cannot be polarized, only transverse can be polarized. So D is the right answer. Polarization only happen for transverse wave. For longitudinal, the particle vibrate parallel and in the same as the direction of the wave, so which that cannot be polarized. Two copper wires are placed in series and the electrons in the two wires have a different drift speed. Which of the following must be different? So we have the formula I is equals to N A V Q. Q is the charge which is constant because both are copper wires, so N will be constant. They are connected in series, so A will be constant. So the product of A and V should be same. So how the product of A and V should be same? The one which is having the higher drift speed should have a small area and the one which is having smaller drift speed should have a large area. So the cross-sectional area should be different. The circuit shows a potential divider. Potential divider means the circuit will divide the voltage between the component including a battery and with a negligible internal resistance, the light dependent resistor and the potential across the fixed resistor is measured using a voltmeter. Which of the following statement about the circuit is correct? If the resistance of LD are half, the voltmeter reading will be half. If the resistance, because the ratio of the voltage is same as the ratio of the resistance. So if we compare the two resistances, so the resistance of LDR is half. So if this resistance is R by 2 and this was R. So in terms of ratio, when I take a ratio between them, it will be 2R into R. So voltage which will drop here out of 12, 8 volts will drop here and 4, volt, 4 volts will drop here. So it will not become ha half. If the resistance of LDR half, the voltmeter readings will half. That, that's not true. 
because the voltmeter is in parallel to fixed resistors the voltmeter reading will increase increasing the light intensity would decrease the voltmeter reading so if we increase the light intensity so because inversely proportional the amount of light if more light less resistance so less resistance less voltage drop across ldr more voltage drop across fixed resistor so reading will not decrease it will increase in increasing a light intensity would have no effect that's also wrong and the voltmeter reading added to a potential across ldr that will always be 12 because the total emf according to kirchhoff's second law the total emf is equals to total potential difference so the total sum of the potential will be equal to 12 so d is the right answer this was unit 2 from may 2020 and this exam was conducted in october 2020 the next session i will discuss the structure questions related to this paper